I watched season one before. Told myself I wasn't going to do a review until season two came out. So, let's talk about season one. Hello, welcome to Just My Thoughts. I'm your host, Khalil Ward. On this episode, I'll be talking about Into the Night, a Netflix series. There's two seasons. The first season, six episodes. Second season, another six episodes. Easy watch. And they're like 40 minutes. Um, It's in French, but you can have it in like the British English. That's what I did. That's what I watched in it. You follow this guy at first, Terenzio. He takes over a plane. He's at the airport. He looks nervous. He looks up on the on the TV screen. He sees like a bunch of dead people. And then he takes over a plane. And you're like, what is going on? Turns out something is killing people he is military he knows what it is and it's essentially the sun so at first it looks like a terrorist attack and all the passengers are looking at him like what is going on and eventually it comes out that the sun is trying to kill them he tells the pilot to just fly away from the sun all the people on the plane is panicking eventually this woman named sylvie she is put in position to lead these people um, because she's former military, she seems even kill. Um, I thought a real good thing about this show was showing what happened, like what what they were going through before this incident. So every episode is named after a particular character, and you see, you know, what their everyday lives was before they got on this plane. You know, the reason for them getting on this plane. You had a mother taking her son to get this um, experimental treatment. Uh, you had a caretaker taking him back home. You had, you know, some shady people doing things. Even Sylvie was kind of mourning. She lost the love of her life and she was going to spread his ashes. And, you know, she just ended up having to leave these people. And, of course, the end of the world, you're on a plane. You don't know these people. There's going to be a lot of tension. And there's a lot of tension amongst the characters. Certain characters just don't trust certain people because they're from different backgrounds. Um, there's also collaboration, though. And you see... Um, a lot of them care for each other. I I, I like the pilot. Um, I forgot his name. But I enjoy him because he seems very level-headed, even killed, and he's always looking out for everyone. You know, he's he wants to hear from everyone on board because as a pilot, his job is to take care of the passengers, make sure they get to their destination. Uh, they are trying to make it to some bunker they hear about, um, and it's supposed to be underground, away from the sun. And of course, on their way there, in only six episodes, a lot happens between these characters. A lot of weird things happen, a lot of strange things. They come across other people when they, they have to make stops to get fuel for the plane, and people die. Don't get attached to anybody in particular, because people do die in the show. Sometimes it's, they have to make a sacrifice, sometimes they get left behind, and it happens. And I really enjoyed it, because I wanted to see where it was going for season two and i watched a few episodes of season two already and it's a little different but for season one it's a cool show for six episodes with a lot of characters to to follow you have some characters you really hate which i do rick in particular don't like him um and then there's some characters that again you're gonna love and you're gonna you're gonna root for and hope things go well for them in this type of situation um, Into the Night Season 1 If you watched it Please let me know What you thought about it uh, Season 2 Is going to come out After this I'm going to record it Right now So thank you for watching Thank you for listening